Hey guys, keep in mind that if you come to Bristol Motor Speedway for this weekend's event, Saturday and Sunday, and buy your tickets online, or if you watch our pay-per-view for Cletus and Cars in the Bristol 1000 on CletusMcFarland.com, you're automatically entered to win this C5 Z06. So if you're spending 15 bucks to get our entire weekend's show on the pay-per-view, the entire burnout contest, stadium trucks, and the Bristol 1000, you're automatically entered. So if you weren't sure if you're gonna watch this weekend, this C5 Z06 should be the reason you tune in to CletusMcFarland.com this weekend. And like I said, for those of you coming to Bristol, don't buy your tickets at the gate, buy them at Bristol Motor Speedway's website, that's how you get entered to win the C5 Z06. All right, guys, enjoy the video. We got a lot to get done today. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. It's gonna be a good morning, huh, Sam? It's gonna be a fantastic morning because we've got the motor for it. We got a little yeah. Mopar action. Hey, that thing's got a Jessel system in it. Yeah? Oh, yeah, it's nice. Do you like what you saw in it? Oh, you great. guys pop the valve covers off? Oh, yeah, yeah, this and off on it. And this is gonna be. This is going to be a trick piece right here. Really? It's going to be good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This thing looks pretty gnarly oh, there, brother. This thing's going to be a It'd be nice thing. if we could leave this cog water pump on it. Yeah. Yeah. That would be sweet. Oh, this. I got a lot. This is not here. This motor's not. Well, let's get it unloaded. I'm done. I'm ready. Dang. Buddy. Look at that. You know the deal, brother. The old duct tape job. Yeah. We got really lucky that we found this, guys. So, this is out of a late model, roundy round car. And. I'm telling you guys, we got so lucky we found this because those old small block Mopars are really tough to find. This is a built engine. It's a high compression. It's going to be on race gas. This old car barrel older than you old son. I know. Yeah. This has <laughs> got about 10 years on you. Yeah, it probably does. And then we got the R block. W2 oh, heads, X block. That's the date code for the block, 6779. Dang. You weren't even thought about yet. The X block. <laughs> 79, <laughs> dude. The heads it has on it. Yeah, W2. Okay. What's that oh, mean? Son. These heads right here is probably in the Mopar world. That's kind of like the uh, Holy Grail in the Mopar world. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah these right here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was, uh, <sighs> he said, even if you wrecked the rest, he said, I'd really like to have the heads back. You know, okay. So, okay, all right. Well, good to know. We got a good set of heads, and they're iron heads, looks like. Yep. One of our issues we know we have is see these motor mounts right here? These guys, they are shaved off of this side. So, what we're going to try and do is weld on some. Uh, motor mounts for this side because we don't want to motor plate the Snap engine some fresh ones back on it think yeah. you got that without hurting yeah. it cut them off the old motor weld them on the new motor <laughs> no big deal it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine we, th we thought about motor plating it but we're just taking the easy route and trying that first hopefully we don't saying, mess it up he was saying that this motor was turning to 7800 for hours on it what yeah, yeah when he would race it 7800 yeah. so if we put like a 7500 chip in this thing it should live pretty well holy biscuits and will our distributor work in this yeah it's all the same back here. it's all the same man we got so freaking lucky now we do need uh exhaust port flanges right there's a little yeah different. we're gonna have to do some different it's figures. got the same bowl hole yeah so if we'll just have to look we have like a stock style which has a dog leg deal in it so yeah. it's like a almost a triangle with a flat top so it might, if it covers the whole flange, we, we might still use it. It just will have a little bit of a restriction. <laughs> well, there you go. So. This thing's gonna make way more power than it's gonna need to spin the tire, so. Oh, talk about a tire fryer. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is cool, our first uh, big Mopar project now. Is this a little Mopar project before? Now we got a big Mopar project on our hands. A lot more serious now. Yes, sir. Let's make sure our oil pan fits first thing, probably. When we get oh, that other engine. There's a big out. old front sump already on it. Oh, it's a front sump? We don't even oh. have to change the pan. It's big, what? It's ready to rock. Damn, dude. What are the odds that we found an old freaking LA block, freaking late model engine? I mean, this is like a miracle, basically. It was meant to be. It's a miracle. Shoo! Dang. Damn, it looks good. Yeah, it's kind of some of the lube and all the push rod tips. There you go. Look at that, dude. Oh, Roman's gonna have to lash his valves, dude. <laughs> <laughs> My guy out here welding on an engine block. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that looks so nice. What can you not weld? Wood. Wood? I'm not good at welding. You sure? Wood. I bet you probably could. <laughs> so, guys, Whalen made this freaking amazing thing for our burnout pad and it's remote controlled we're gonna see if we can scare george real quick george is also late for the bristol planning meeting Duh. unbelievable wait, wait. After we pushed it for him. yeah so we're gonna scare him and then we're all gonna leave right when <laughs> he comes in <laughs> all right guys great meeting great meeting guys I missed all right it. <laughs> 
It felt more like an intervention. Check this thing out. Seriously, you guys already went over everything? Yeah. Without me? Yeah, you missed it. I didn't even know anything if I wasn't here. Check this thing out. The lights for you. Try her out, dude. Those Give her a rip. Like well, in school, the bottom ones are the like loud ones. C, so that's got to be something good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Scares you every time. <laughs> oh, PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> so this is for our burnout pad. When you know these, some some guys will not stop doing a burnout. So we got a little something to get their attention. And tell them, hey, brother, you're done. Rip her another time. The George box. Hey, I heard you broke wow. your rear end, by the way. I mean, I was just putting through the parking lot. I mean, I did like a little, like, you know. Yeah, I know you did a little burnout. <laughs> okay, yeah. It was like a slap, poof. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So Rodney's well, broke. Like, all right. But we got a rear end here for got it. Got a rear end. Should we pop here it open? Further? Yeah. Where's that? It's upstairs with the forklift. I also broke that. You broke the forklift? Yeah, I blew a hose on it. What? How? I don't know, just floored it and the freaking hose popped off. Oh my gosh, how bad's the parking lot? <laughs> is it bad? No, it's not bad. All right, let's go up there and look. All right, so we got a quick performance rear end that's been chilling up here for Rodney for this exact situation. The only issue is, you know, we leave for Bristol in a couple days and we don't have a drive shaft that's going to work. So hopefully your drive shaft will work and we can put a U joint on it. Yeah, hopefully. That's dude. dreaming. Nine inch, dude. I know, so. I mean, this is legit right Fab here. nine inch, dude, big old third member there. That thing ain't going anywhere. What rear gear did you get? You know, I don't know. It's been, it's been a minute. But it, it's I know, here for a while. it's one that'll do some burnouts. All right, that's all we need to know. We'll put it somewhere in here and get it worked on <laughs> with all the other broken stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was very nervous about this, but finally this whole thing came in handy. Look how good it's working. Don't let it bounce! <laughs> that would be so bad if it fell on, on mullet. Hey, nice nifty piece of equipment there. Look at that, baby. Quick performance, nine inch, about to go on Rodney. It's pouring outside. We, we got it all under control. Good job, buddy. Need anything else from up here? Should we get the golf cart down? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Bristol week. Bristol brother. Finally here, <laughs> Bristol brother. So we got Twist T out here putting a, uh, oh, oh. Not oh. secured yet. God dang it. <laughs> We're putting Leroy's old catch can on it. Remember it caught on fire last time, did a big burnout. No big deal, no putting big the catch deal. can on it. We got the mystery machine going on the dyno. The Miata's done. White trash still needs an engine. But we got that. So let's uh let's show them what we got going in here on this duster. What a project, huh? The unit, dude. What a project. So we got a lot of stuff we gotta get done. The crown vicks are done. All the crown vicks for Bristol are done. We got Toast chilling here, about to fire him up for the first time. Ty is finishing up an oil change on old Killer Beat. You gonna keep it off the wall this time? Absolutely. Only no more scratches on this thing. So uh, Ty's got this puppy jacked up. We're gonna empty out the dry sump. We're actually putting in a new probe for the oil heater because it's got an Australian plug on it. We gotta switch it over to American. All right, that's looking good. Let's check out the duster. Duster's having some issues, guys. A lot of roadblocks on this puppy, but uh, we're working through them. Did you guys figure out what was wrong with this thing? Or? Uh, it inverted it's metal, the, right? Well, it inverted the flap on the oil filter, so it was just looping oil, not pumping motor or pumping oh. oil. Oh! So then it just started eating itself. So it had no oil pressure. <clears throat> it would make like 20 pounds and stay there. Huh. So it was the oil filter after all? It was the oil filter, yeah. We should have never changed the oil. If we never changed it, it would have been gold. God dang it. Yeah, that's why How does that even happen? That's why you don't do maintenance, guys. How does that even happen? Yeah, you know, like when you look in the filter, that orange flap? Yeah. That's to keep the oil flowing one way. Well, it inverted itself. So it was just a roadblock. It wasn't flowing. No itself. way. Yeah. Idiots, dude. That's why you don't maintain things. That's why you just leave the whole filter on there. That ain't sucks. broke, don't fix it. You know? That sucks. All right, so we got the race engine in. We're having some issues, like the front cover uh, wasn't working with our water pump, so now, well, yeah, actually, this is the looks cover. like it was rubbing a little so bit. So this is the cover off of it. Yeah. They took these corners out and epoxied them for some reason. I'm guessing yeah. to clear maybe the chain setup they got on here, but their fuel pump drive. This is what drives the mechanical pump stop. Yeah. They left it on there because it's it's an off-balance weight. 
so you can't take it off and just oh. put a bolt. And theirs was touching their cover already, so I went ahead and machined the edge down to make it a little bit thinner. Okay. So it stops touching. Is it gonna fit with our cover though? It's looking promising, but not. I'm not gonna say yes or no yet because I gotta yeah. clean up the cover and get it to where so we can bolt it on. The so. goal is to bolt everything up today and hopefully try and fire it by the end of the day. Yeah. We have no idea what that carburetor that this thing came with is gonna do, but we're gonna try it. Yeah. We also got it in, we'll got it all there. bolted up, and found out that the oil pump drive and oil pump was taken out of this motor, so yeah. we had to do some swapping around. Take it all back out. Car, so yeah. we got the oil pump out of this. Which did you make sure the filter is not inverted or what? On this, it doesn't have a filter on it yet. Okay. When so, we put that filter on, let's, yeah, it's make gonna sure get a it's better filter dialed. Start. All right. We're getting there on the old duster, though. It's coming along. That's what I like to see. All right. So, over here, we got Chad's Mustang coming back together. We had to put a new engine in this. It had a junkyard LS in it, and it just kind of killed the bearings over time from getting hot. So, we have another junkyard LS for it, and it's got Bluetooth lifters in it, I heard. Yeah, the best in the business. <laughs> <laughs> no, James took it back apart, put the lifters in it, which you guys saw in the last video. So just wrapping this up, putting some sensors in it. We'll pop the intake on and it should fire up. The Dale truck is done and ready to go as the pace vehicle. That's looking really good. And then George has his new rear end in his truck. And we are just waiting on some parts for the drive shaft. This thing will be back up and rolling. George, how'd that install go, buddy? It bolted right in. Bolted up. Yeah. As advertised, dude. Bolted right in, so. Now it's gonna be too like white trash though, kind of. Yeah, it looks like it's very low. Yeah, the frame fit touches the axle. Oh. But, you know. We're not gonna worry about that. We'll worry about that later. Squatted truck guys, man. What can you do? Better not let Whistling get a hold of you. <laughs> <laughs> Whistling just wrecks it. All righty, boys. Let's see how this thing runs. We're gonna put some purified water down the intake real quick. That's how you get the party started. Put some oil pumping first, actually. It might suck down the fuel I just put in there, but whatever. Oh, yeah. She's building the oil pressures. Building it fast. Right, that'll work. Oil's already heated, too. So let's push this up. Cooked. Well, haven't we rebuilt that before? Yeah, it's got like a double O ring deal in it, and yeah. we got O rings from Ace. All right, that's what's in it. It's simple, just snap ring. So, well, it sounds like it's running good, it's making 90 pounds of oil pressure, and I heated the hell out of the oil. So, oh, she is crusty. Yeah, Don't man. like the looks of that. I just think this cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, I'll clean it up. Dirty. Put some brake clean on it. Guys, I started taking this apart and I'm realizing that I'm definitely not qualified to be doing this job, but uh, we're gonna try and figure this thing out. Looks like this O-ring should fix it. Alrighty, test number two. Let's try not to leak on this one.
We have one car down, another couple to go. All right, we got the Vargas brothers in the house. What's up? What's up, man? It's been a while since you messed with this thing, huh? Last time you were around it, you almost rolled it. Yeah, it still hurts a little bit. <laughs> so, what is this? Dude, you we got a fresh axle under there. But uh, as you know, the tune up on her, whew, not so good. But we put some fresh spark plugs in it, oil change, you know, the good stuff. Let's see if she even runs. Let's see if she'll even fire up. You gotta do a little tw the two thing. Uh, right, right? A little two, three prime. Yeah. Here we go. Listen to that compression, dude. All of it. Bro, it starts and runs good. Dude, thing. It it's a little deep. beat up. Yeah. <laughs> My boy Brent did not take it easy on this thing at all. Brent did that, this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you know, it's just going yeah. like real weird. So, I think it's like a limiter issue, probably like a setting. So it should yeah. be pretty easy. That's what I and figured. then I saw that you guys changed the gear ratio on the yeah. back. Yeah. So what is it now? 373. Okay. I don't know what it was before. Be it was a five something before. So. It's got all the wheel speed now, brother. <laughs> they look terrible, dude. Alcohol jet. 99s? Yeah, 98s and 108s is what you run in alcohol. Sometimes you run 16 so we're not or putting, We're not putting 99s in the new engine? <laughs> 99s in that thing? <laughs> enough cubic inch? What? I'm telling you, Greg, that's close. That is 99s? Close. I don't want to run 99. <laughs> 99. That's close to an eighth of an inch. Like, <laughs> that's Whoa. what I heard. Dang that's it. what I heard. It's close to an eighth of an inch. <laughs> it is. All right, let's see what you right. got. Let's do it. Right, we'll we'll test burnout so we get a data log. What'd you fix? I think I, I think I was hitting boost cut. I raised the boost cut. That's the only way to oh, fix it. Didn't turn down the boost, just raised yeah, the just cut. Raised the cut, that's it. Small one, I don't want to see it God dang. Bro, it kills it with this new gear ratio. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that worked. I added some fuel in the low end, it was lean. Yeah. So that's why it was like, duh, 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 like yeah. popping. Let us show you the song of our people. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's fire it up. You ready? Hit the key. I'm gonna make sure she's in the neutral. Lifters and all. Bluetooth lifters. First pyro. All right, well, we got Chad staying back up and running. Now we're gonna put the mystery machine on the dyno. Well, that'll do it right there. 
Sucker's done for. All right, buddy, you ready to see what she'll make? Yeah. It's been a while. So we got uh, 301 horsepower. You can see she was sailing. She was getting ready to probably make 400. And then uh, Mike thinks it's rich. Yeah, super rich. So I'm gonna lean it out and we're gonna do some ear tuning. Yeah, <laughs> we got no wide band or nothing. Yeah. Let's go. Right. That's how the Cowboys did it. How's the oil pressure look? Have it looked? <laughs> it doesn't even have an oil pressure sensor. Yeah, it does. <laughs> no, it oh, it doesn't? Yeah. Oh, it must be good if oil's coming out. Must be good, yeah. Freak 20. I mean, it's good with me. <laughs> Let's just leave it. That was second gear. That wasn't even third gear. I don't really want to load it up. That was uh, 14 pounds, and yeah, and it was second gear. Nice so and safe. It's like... It's a burnout machine, bro. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're done, bro. <laughs> All right, midstream machine's got an oil leak, so we're gonna let it cool down, fix that. Uh, the filter seems to be leaking, and then we'll be uh, back on our way out the door. It's ready to roll, dude. You're going to Bristol. All right, this is the beauty of a carburetor. So much less crap to put together. Jack Stan almost has this thing back together, and we're gonna try it out. We're gonna be back up and ripping here momentarily, folks. Does not sound good. God dang it. Wait, did the lifter go in or did not? They're in there. <laughs> nah, it's just probably needs a little TLC, that's all. It's a Chevy. What the hell do you think that was? Oh, probably the spark plug wires, honestly. It looked pretty clapped. Sounds like you just lost eight cylinders. Still had oil yeah, pressure. Yeah, it did. That's good. Brother! Dynamic, you sell me, bud. Yeah, the lifter's good. Knocking? That's either a rod or a lifter. Did not sound good. Well, so like Chad's driving the old mystery machine. <laughs> wow, it sucks. Sam, we called the uh, guy who sold us the engine. Mm -hmm. He said that we should put 99s in it to start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. No, that's what he said. Yeah, I'm serious. That's yeah. what he said. Okay, yeah, I got you. Uh -huh. So that's what we put in it. Yeah, I don't think Lee said for 99 for that. I'm not sure I No 99s? What no. are we even doing if we don't have 99s? Yeah, I drilled them out. Yeah, see, they were, he made it. He drilled them out. They were 102s. Close to an eighth of an inch. Yeah. They were a quarter inch. <laughs> I measured, the, I measured the OD of the threads and it measured about 15 sixteenths, so I went ahead and took them to about 7 eighths. Alright, so here's the rule, guys. Only Sam gets to touch this carburetor. James, keep your paws off it, bud. What are you going to start with, Sam? Well, I'm actually going to start with what's in here. 99s? The ones that's right here. No, no. Did you even look at them? <laughs> yeah. What yeah. are they? The whole thing, dear. 99s? No, you got... <laughs> no. This motor here can handle 70s is what's in here, you know. That'll it's be a good start. But, you know, it'll be okay for a burnout. And we're running C16, you know that, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, no pump gas. This thing here is probably going to be 
Yeah, between 11 and a half and 12 and a half to one. Yeah, we'll spice it. Okay, okay. So we're finishing up some wiring. We put an ignition box on it so it has a rev limiter because it's a solid roller. It'll probably rev to the moon if we let it. Oh, so, <laughs> and uh, we don't know if Roman's foot is tuned in for that. So we just figured we'd give him a rev limiter to hit if he needs it. How bad was it? Oh. Well, you have a look, see, there it is. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you guys something. If you had the opportunity to hit the burnout pad in Bristol, would you take neighbor or would you take toast? Tough decision there. I'm probably going neighbor, to be honest. I don't know, it's my boy. <laughs> Rowdy to get this close. Alright, that should be good. I forgot there's, a, there's actually a neutral safety switch on this car. Wow, that's that's responsible of us. I know. <laughs> I was like, my starter's broke. Oh wait. Yeah, it's a little rowdy pulling this one in the trailer. I know. <laughs> You're a bold man standing in front of it. I know. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Some takeover style donuts I know, right there. Like like, you're I did. All right, guys, this C5Z06 could be yours. Visit cleavesmithfarland.com for a chance to win this thing. If you buy the pay per view for this weekend's Bristol event, or if you buy an in person ticket on Bristol's website, you're automatically entered both ways 
to win this Z06. Or also, if you buy the Cleater Crew, which is all of our pay-per-views for the rest of the year, you get 20 chances to win this bad unit. So, if you guys know the deal, check out all the details and rules at cleasonfrawn.com. Thanks for watching Nail. We'll freaking see you later.